name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord who raises up those that are bowed down. May His love and protection be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we are all sinners who are in need of God's mercy. In the silence of our hearts, let us implore His pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me in the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. God, with the heart of a father and a mother, you care for the poor, you give justice to the oppressed, and food to the hungry. In your Son, Jesus, you have shown us how to give, not from our surplus, but ourselves. Confound our calculations, change our self-interest into generous sharing, that our way of giving may become like yours without counting the cost. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Word. Because the widow of Sarapel shared food with the prophet Elijah, she and her son survived the time of famine. This action of the pagan widow mirrors the generosity of the widow in today's gospel. A reading from the Book of Kings. In those days, Elijah the prophet went to Zadokad. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, Please bring me a small cup full of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out up after her, Please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jar. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord God of Israel says, The jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and he and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through, foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the way you attend your meetings, the way you join the activities, and giving of yourselves time beyond what is the normal way for an ordinary Christian. And so let me reflect with you, dear sisters and brothers, about the different ways of giving. Maybe we will not be far off if we think of giving as falling into three different kinds. I could call them one, the reluctant giver. Second is the calculating giver. And third is the snooty giver. Let me share a few things about this. First, we have the first kind of giver is the reluctant giver. A clear example of this, dear friends, is when you pay your taxes, when you give to the government. If anybody among you here who gives with a smile your taxes, no, I can see that. Definitely not. So that is a reluctant giver. When somebody approaches you, maybe um, you are a graduate of a particular school and they are all organizing a reunion. Wala ka namang interest doon sa reunion na yan. But you feel that you have to give na kakadyahe naman na hindi ka magbigay. And so you give but with reluctance. You give reluctantly. The second type is the calculating giver. It is as if you give as a return on your investment. Um, I, I know, I know, dear friends, this is funny. I know a lady who has a checklist which she updates every Christmas. So by November or by December, she would go through the whole list and would say, First, Mrs. A, last year, did not send me a Christmas card. So this year, Borakia, it is. Mrs. B gave me two handkerchiefs while I gave her an important Christmas cake. So, question mark. And so on down the line. In other words, we give calculating what would be given back to us in return. So that's the calculating giver. Pagsagwa nito, dear friends, you, when you know this, yung mga mayaman pa nga, let's say a congressman, it's the birthday of the congressman, and it happens to be the birthday also of your driver. How much do you give to the congressman? When the congressman is already rich, you should have given more to your driver who needed it more. But our human way of acting is return on my investment. So, kung mas malaki yung bigay ko sa congressman, sa congressman, babalik niya sa akin. So, that is calculating giver. A third type of giver is what I don't like most of all. It is the snooty giver. Snooty because he gives but he makes you feel small. I know, dear friends, many years ago, uh, some of you who belong to my generation, the forgotten generation, uh, may, remember, may remember that sitcom, John and Marcia. Okay, very good. Some of you still remember that. I love that sitcom. Uh, so we know that Dolphy played the part of the, the poor son-in-law, right? The mother-in-law was played by Delia Kayataya. 
and she was the rich mother-in-law. Many times, many episodes would show that at the end, towards the end of the episode, the mother-in-law, the rich mother-in-law, would bail out her daughter and her son-in-law from some, some, some utang. And so towards the end, she would always say, towards the end of every episode, she would say, Kaya John, well, she gives, Kaya John, something like that. So, she gives, but mayroon pang, mayroon pang buntot yung sa niyang binibigay. And so, Dolphy, of course, the son-in-law, poor as he is, receives it, but napapahiyan siya. That is the kind of a snooty giver. Maybe we should ask ourselves, dear friends, how which of this sometimes we may fall into. Maybe not all the time, but sometimes. And then I would think, dear friends, also about the value of a gift depends on two things. One, depends on the sacrifice with which it is given. And second, the spirit with which or in which it is given. First, the sacrifice with which it is given. You know, Billy Gates. Billy Gates is worth 36 billion US dollars. Suppose Billy Gates gives, writes out a check for one million dollars. Do you think he writes that with a sacrifice? He would hardly notice the loss of one million dollars from out of his 36 billion dollars. On the other hand, if I, if you are a, a public school teacher and you earn 8,000 pesos a month and you give to the church as your stewardship, you give to the church 1,000 pesos. Ibawas mo yung 1,000 pesos sa 8,000 pesos that you receive. Masakit yun. Masakit. But that is precisely the value of the gift. My dear friends, let me share with you. I, I, this, this pains me because it, it affected me. And I still, I still feel the pain of it now and then. You know, back in my former diocese, uh, there was a lady, we call her uh, Lola Passione, and she was a permanent fixture in the bishop's house. Palaging nasa yun, nasa bishop's house yun. Humihingi ng tulong. Okay. So, we all, everybody knows her. Everybody knew her, Lola Passione. And very often, so, one day, I came from a faraway barrio. We had to walk for, him for, for him several hours, and I had no lunch, and my, I was wet when I arrived in the bishop's house. In plain language, I was in a foul mood. I was in a foul mood. And so, there I saw Lola Basio waiting for me. And she was waving a piece of paper and smiling. Natural, I was not smiling at her because I was in foul mood. And so she said, Lula Basione said, alam ko na yan, prescription paper yan for medicine. But alam mo naman na alam ko na ilang beses mo na yan na presenta sa akin. I think mga five times na yan. But I always did. I know that she was cheating me, she was duping me, but I knew that she also needed it. And anyway, what I did was, I was, as I, I was in a foul mood, and so I reached into my pocket and I gave her a money. Dear friends, I do not remember now how much I gave her. I do not know how I gave it to her. The thing is, sure ako na hindi maganda ang pagbigay because I was in the phone. 
And so, bumaba na siya. I happened to look out the window and I saw Lola Basion towing her apo, her grandchild with her. And I saw the face of the boy. Such a radiance, such joy coming out. Because the Lola was showing him the money that I gave. And he was so smiling. I'm sure Nini lang. I'm sure he was thinking of Johnny B when he saw that Lola was there. Alam mo, dear friends, no makita ko yung face ng mata na yun. I felt like a dagger go to my heart. Remembering how I treated the Lola. So I ran to the chapel, I knelt before the Blessed Sacrament and I said, Lord, I'm sorry. I was very rude to you. If I gave her 100 pesos, because of the way that I gave her, it was worth only seguro 5 dollars na lang. It was no longer worth 100 pesos. Because of the way I gave it to her. Because of the spirit with which I gave it to her. And that's why we remember your friends again. A gift, a gift is worth not because of its size, not because of its value, but because of the spirit with which it is given and the sacrifice that goes with it. So much so that here in this parable, in this gospel reading, we see this woman who gave not, not something, but who gave everything that she had. And that is why our Lord praised her. That was a reflection on our Lord Himself. Because our Lord also gave everything that He was. He gave His humanity. He gave His divinity. He even gave His own mother. And that is the meaning of generosity. And so many sisters and brothers, whatever little that you give to the Lord, the Lord will accept that. And will accept that with much, much love. You, the Lord is never, never outdone in generosity. Let us then ask our Lord at this Mass to give us the courage, to give us that humility, to give us that generosity. And I'm sure the Lord God will bless you, will bless your community. Let us thank the Lord. Let us proclaim our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God measures a gift not by its size or cost, but according to the generous spirit it was given. Let us pray that we may be as generous as the widow in the gospel. 
And so after every petition, we pray, Lord, teach us to be generous. Lord, teach us to be generous. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and deacons may rekindle the divine gift they receive at their ordination and serve God and His people with a generous heart, we pray. Lord, teach us to be generous. That politicians and civil leaders may be selfless as they initiate programs for the integral development of society, we pray. Lord, teach us to be generous. That those stricken with debilitating illnesses, the victims of natural calamities, violence, and injustice, may be relieved from suffering and be able to recover their lives, we pray. Lord, teach us to be generous. That philanthropists, benefactors, and generous institutions and individuals may continue sharing their blessings and receive the reward from God, who is never outdone in generosity. We pray. Lord, teach us to be generous. That all of us gathered here may never feel so poor that one cannot contribute anything or so rich that one cannot receive anything. In all things, may there be solidarity and mutual help among us. We pray, Lord, teach us to be generous. Father of mercy, hear your children who call to you. Make us understand that our gifts and our sharing are pleasing to you when they come from our hearts. We ask this in the name of Jesus, and so we ask Mama Mary to accompany us in our journey as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. that this our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. 
loving God, in this science of bread and wine, we celebrate how your son Jesus gave himself once and for all, that we might live and love and be free. May we learn from him to ask not how much we can afford without hurting ourselves, but let him be our strength to give the best of ourselves and to answer his voice crying out to us in everyone who is in need. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. All things are of your making. All times and seasons obey your laws. But you chose to create man in your own way, image, setting him over the whole world in all its splendor. You made men and women the stewards of creation to praise you day by day for the marvels of your wisdom and power through Jesus Christ. We praise you, Lord, with all the angels in their song of joy. and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave the thanks and praise, gave the chance to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
and their saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and the blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict XVI, our Pope. Luis Antonio, our bishop, with all our bishops, the clergy, the religious, and all those who work for the building up of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with our loving husband, Saint Joseph, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord is with you always. And with your spirit. So much of sign of peace.
church of others, this is Jesus. He is the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. He takes away our sins. Happy are we, for we have been invited to share in this banquet of eternal life. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to receive you, you but always say the word, and I shall. Don't say the word, and my soul shall be. party on December 8th. Please register with your respective ministry heads. The deadline would be November 21 and the last day of payment will be December 2. So if you will um, avail the uh, discount, 
you have to pay before before December 2 or on December 2. For the family of those who are coming, more than two. You know, the the first one will pay the 500 and the rest will be the 250. I uh, 350. Sorry. That's a thank you. Let us move. <laughs> God and merciful Father, your son Jesus came to fill with your gifts the poor who are aware of their own emptiness, and he called them blessed. Help us to discover how poor we really are. Poor in faith, poor in trust, poor in our generous love. Be near to us in your son Jesus, that we may be available to all and share the best that is in us without any outward display, but in quiet deeds of love and service as your son Jesus did. He lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We have celebrated the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus. He gave what he had and what he was, his own self, to bring others life and happiness let us go to become Christians, that is, people like Christ, who do not count the cost of our gifts. So may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Eucharist, let us go in peace, loving and serving the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a great day.